Hey yo, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is having an amazing day so far. Today your boy Sky has two brand new working solo RP glitches for you guys. Recently, the amount of comments I've got saying, Sky, I made so much money from all your glitches, but I'm not level 120, so I can't even buy everything in the game. So can you please post an RP glitch that is completely solo? Well, today I have two which are completely solo and you are going to love. The first one is a little different in a little different way. The second one is a little different, so you guys can just pick the one that best fits for you. Now for the people who do not know, the mod account giveaway that was running on this channel came to an end yesterday and in yesterday's video I asked if you guys wanted me to do a new one because a lot of you guys were talking about it and I asked you to go ahead and hit the like button if you guys want me to go ahead and do a new mod account giveaway. Now the response was a little blur so I wasn't able to tell if a lot of people wanted yes or a lot of people wanted no. So today I'm just gonna ask one more time, if you guys want me to do a mod account giveaway, the reason I'm asking again is because one mod account giveaway cost me about $600 so that's actually pretty expensive so to actually perform the mod account giveaway I need a prompt yes or a prompt no so today this is the final time I'm gonna ask if you guys do want me to do an exclusive mod account giveaway for this channel go ahead and slap a like on the video and today I will make up my decision and I'll let you guys know in the next video now if you guys are looking for cheap reliable and extreme fast cash on GTA 5 online I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out GTA 5 boosting for like $35 you have $20 million on GTA 5 online if you don't check them out the link will be in the description now if this video hits 2100 likes then that would be a definite yes anything under that it has to be close to 2k and I will know that you guys want me to do the mod account giveaway now these RP glitches which I have for you guys today as I said both of them are very different in their own ways because the first one not everyone will be able to do because it does have a little expensive requirement the second one everyone will be able to do because it has no requirements but it's a little bit slower compared to the first one so overall it's really up to you guys which one you personally want to do what I recommend you guys do is actually watch both of them and then make up your mind which one best fits for you if you guys can afford the expensive thing I recommend going for the first one if you can't go for the second one which is a little bit slower but equally as efficient but doesn't require anything at all I just recommend watching both of them and then making up your mind now to start off with the first RP glitch you guys will require one thing in GTA 5 online to actually perform this glitch and that one thing is an MOC now you guys do not need any upgrade grades inside of the MOC it can simply be a stock MOC and you will still be able to do this glitch. Trust me this glitch is going to be worth it and you guys will have no trouble with it. Now to start off with this glitch the first thing you guys will have to do is load into an invite only session make your way up to this location the exact location I will show you guys on the map. Once you guys arrive here simply open up your interaction menu go to services and call in your mobile operation center the location is this location right here it's northwest of the whole map when you actually come around this location Location, you guys will notice that there is an army base now once you arrive here simply take a left turn and drive the MOC on top of the mountain now once you guys arrive on top of the mountain all you simply have to do is make your way to the same location I would do in the gameplay also I recommend climbing the mountain from the same location as that is probably the easiest way to get up now once you're on top of the mountain you will notice that there is a fence simply just keep going to the right side then you will arrive at the end of the fence simply take a left turn take another left turn and keep going next to the fence. Now once you guys take the second left turn simply keep going forward until you guys come to the highway so you will notice that the highway will be on your right side. Once you actually arrive at the highway simply park your MOC in the same location I do in the gameplay. Now once you guys have your MOC parked up all you need to do is get out of the MOC and make your way to this exact board I will do in the gameplay. So you guys will notice that there is a small curve on the fence and you will notice that there is a red board that says no trespassing. Simply walk up to it and then go a little right off it and you guys will notice that when you reach the fourth bar you will get four star wanted level on the top right. At this point simply run up close to the back of the MOC and walk in. Make sure before you walk in make sure that the stars on the top right are flashing. Now when you arrive inside boom you're given 400 RP. Now you guys are like Sky, I don't see you getting 400 RP, did you actually get it? Well remember the RP I had, the last 4 digits were 452. To repeat the glitch all I simply have to do is get out of the back of the MOC, make my way to the 4th post on the right of the board, once I get the 4 star wanted level on the top right, wait for the stars to actually flash and make my way into the back of the MOC and look on the top right. Now the RP is 852, that means I am given 400 RP. To repeat the glitch all you simply have to do is get out of the back of the MOC, go up to the post which is the 4th post on the right 
off the board and you simply will get the four star wanted level going to the back of the moc once the stars start flashing on the top right and you will be given 400 rp if the stars are not flashing on the top right make sure you do not go into the back of the moc or you will not get any rp now what i recommend you guys do to make this rp glitch the most efficient is try to park your moc in a location where if you come up close to the back of the moc by the time you actually run up to it you will lose the four star wanted level meaning it will start flashing on the top right now i recommend spending about five minutes to actually find a good location because the less you have to run the shorter the rp glitch will become and the more rp you will be earning in a shorter period of time now as you guys saw in the gameplay i actually repositioned my moc to make sure that the soon as the stars on the top right actually start flashing i can go into the back of the moc i don't actually have to run so far away just to go into the back of the moc once you guys find the right location let's say about five meters away if you measure it and you get the right location what is going to happen is you guys will be saving so much time and you will be able to get yourself a lot more rp a lot more quicker trust me this glitch is insane but the only downside to this glitch is you obviously need an moc you can do this glitch in an invite only any session you possibly want as the glitch is 100 solo now one thing you guys need to know is if you actually own a hangar inside of the military base this glitch will not work for you if you still want to do this glitch if you have a hangar inside of the military base all you simply have to do is just swap it with a different hangar so buy the one in the airport or somewhere else if you just swap it then this glitch will work for you just remember if you're about to comment yo bro this glitch doesn't work for you that's because you actually have a hangar inside of the military base simply swap that and you will be able to do this glitch now some people will be like sky this glitch doesn't seem like so good it only gives you 400 rp but remember it gives you 400 rp every five to seven seconds and if you're a low level you would be getting a lot of rp and you would rank up very very quickly if you're a high level i don't even know why you're doing an rp glitch in the first place but if you want to do an rp glitch this is probably the best one to go for now if you guys are one of the people that can't afford the moc let's move on to the second glitch that i can show you guys that you can do right now on gta 5 online to get yourself about the same rp but you do not require yourself an MOC. Now to actually perform this RP glitch, which is 100% solo as well, what you need to do is you need to make your way to a different location. Now you guys are like, Sky, where is this different location? Well, the location you will have to come to is you simply need to bring up your pause menu, go onto the map and come to this location, which is a little northeast of the whole of the city. You won't be able to see this whole place until you actually come here. And once you arrive at the same location I am, which is the front gate, what you need to do is you just need to steal a random street car so i'm just going to go with this one you can steal literally any car doesn't really matter enter the military base from the front which is going to be obviously the front gate once you enter it you need to take a right turn and make your way to the first watchtower make sure you go to the first one if you go to another one this glitch is not going to work so simply take a right turn and make your way to this first watchtower once you arrive here simply get out of the car and make your way inside of the watchtower on foot now when you arrive inside all you simply have to do is just climb Climb the stairs and make your way onto the top. Now, as you guys can see in the gameplay, it's really simple. You simply need to climb the stairs. Also, one thing I want to say is you don't actually have to do all these things just to earn yourself the RP or do the RP glitch. You only have to do this once. Now, once you guys arrive on the top, what you need to do is you need to walk out from the door, then take a right turn and keep going right until you guys come to this point, which is like the balcony place. Once you arrive here, simply open up your pause menu, make your way to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, make your way to arena and just start up the first arena job that's in your list when you start it up you guys will load in and there will be a small trailer that will play just wait for the trailer to come to an end and wait until you guys actually load into the job lobby and once you load into the job lobby you simply need to back out now when you back out you guys will notice that you're still on top of the watchtower but you will notice that you will be given rp now the first time i did it i didn't actually receive the rp because i was actually standing in the wrong location don't worry i will show you guys exactly where you need to stand so once you back out of the job simply run around and you will get a four star wanted level once you get the four star wanted level simply come to the same location i'm in in the gameplay so make sure you're on the left side of the hall of the balcony once you're standing in the same location simply bring up your pause menu go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created and start up the first job in the arena war dlc now once you start it up you will get the trailer and then you will load in once you load in simply back out and when you back out you guys will notice you will be given 400 rp 
or depending on how many stars you had. If you had five stars, you would get 500. So as you guys saw right there, I just got 400 RP and I'm still in the same location. To repeat the glitch, all I need to do is I just need to take a left turn, go up close to around this area. Once I get the four star wanted level, come stand in the same location. Once I'm standing here, simply start up the same job. Once I load in, simply back out. Now, as you guys can see, this glitch is pretty much similar to the other one, but the only difference is you guys have to start up a job and back out, which takes a little bit longer compared to just going into the back of the MOC and coming out. That would take about 5 seconds and this would take about 20 seconds but this one doesn't actually require MOC so that's the good thing about it. As you guys can see, every time you will back out you will receive 400 RP and you can repeat this as many times as you possibly want. If you're a low level, you will be able to rank up a lot quicker and if you're a higher level, as I said, why would you even want to rank up once you cross 120 because you have already unlocked everything in the game. Now at this point, it's up to you guys. Do you guys want to do the first one? Do you want to do the second one? Make up your mind because for every single person, it will be different. If you have the MOC, the first one would be a better choice. But if you don't have an MOC, then the second one would be a better choice. But out of the way, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, I highly recommend you guys subscribe and see your notification for daily working real GTA 5 money glitching videos. But before I leave, I just want to say thank you so much for the amazing support on this channel recently we're so close to 50,000 subscribers that's just insane thank you so much for the amazing support other than that thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope everyone has an amazing day ahead and i will see you guys in the next one i'm out peace